It's now my pleasure to introduce Ms. Kathleen Blessing, who is representing the fall 2015 graduating class. Ms. Blessing was selected to represent the graduating class based on her high GPA associated with the most hours earned at Arkansas State. She is graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Studies and will bring remarks on behalf of the graduating class. Ms. Blessing. To Arkansas State University and the distinguished members of the faculty, it's an honor to be here today along with alumni, special guests, family members, and friends who came to celebrate this important occasion. Most of all, it's an honor to be here speaking to you, my fellow graduates, the class of 2015. When I was originally asked to speak to you, I will admit my first response was panic. My second, more rational response was the feeling of great honor I would have with this opportunity. But I still wasn't quite sure what I would, that I would have anything of value to say to you. I'm a soon-to-be college graduate. I'm in the same position that you are. How am I qualified to give encouragement or advice when I'm unsure of the road ahead? As I was trying to find the best wisdom to impart for graduation, I started looking back at my school career. I decided that some of the best lessons are the simplest ones. So if you'll give me a few minutes of your time, I'll take you way back to a time when all the lessons were simple. And I'd like to do that using the works of an author many, if not all of us, grew up with, Dr. Seuss. Green Eggs and Ham, I'm sure we all remember this one. Sam I Am tries to get the narrator to try Green Eggs and Ham, among many other things, to which the main character refuses until the end when he decides he likes Green Eggs and Ham and is ready to try new things. College was full of new experiences. For many of us, it was the first time living away from home. We made new friends, we saw new places, we had more difficult classes and coursework. As we leave here and enter the real world, it's important to remember to try new things, to get excited rather than worried when life hits us with something we feel unready for. Horton Hears a Who is one of my favorite Dr. Seuss stories. Horton the elephant is hanging out in the jungle when he hears a voice coming from a speck of dust. It asks for his help and he vows to protect it against a dangerous world. When the dust speck is stolen by other jungle animals, Horton chases after it and does his best to save it. The lesson Horton provides is simple. Protect your friends. Horton goes to the end of the earth for his friends. Realistically, protecting a friend can be as simple as listening and trying to understand what they're going through. Maintaining the friendships that we've made these last few years can be difficult. However, these friendships have the potential to help us celebrate victories and endure hard times. Maintaining the support group is something that we should strive for. I have to end on, oh, the places you'll go. It's a graduation cliche. I don't think I can share the sentiment any better than Dr. Seuss did. Congratulations. Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. And you can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You're on your own, and you know what you know. And you are the guy who will decide where you go. The future is our decision now. We've endured 13 years of school and four years of college. Some of us may continue our education, and some of us may enter the workforce. Moving on can be scary, but no matter how complicated life gets, some of the simplest lessons remind us who we are and where we have come from, and maybe they'll lead us to where we need to go. Thank you, and congratulations, Class of 2015.